And I think this kind of highlights something um, in the history of the church. There's kind of, in my opinion, like two schools of thought on the church's role in society and even, you know, obviously the patriarch's role um, by proxy. One is kind of the church's, you know, strictly a spiritual you know, institution, uh, no political interest, uh, clergy shouldn't participate in the political arena. And the other is that the church um, should be active in the political arena and, you know, engage in, you know, society at large. In my opinion, I think Pope Carolos VI kind of represents that former school of thought. And, you know, as a result, he, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, he wasn't really um, out there, you know, meeting with politicians and doing all this kind of stuff, which obviously takes away your time from, uh, you know, your, your duties to yeah. your, your direct responsibility. I'm not saying those things aren't uh, beneficial to your, your flock, but um, it's, it's kind of less, less direct, obviously. Sure. Sure. I mean, I think, uh, of course, St. Pope Carlos VI was, ver was very unique in that he, he relied so much on the power of prayer, again, to the ch chagrin of many who, who thought he should do more, you know, and so he, he relied on his tears at the altar to solve many of the political and social problems of his people. Um, and that, and that, of course, history shows, you know, was successful, you know, he, he opened um, many doors with President Gamal Abdel Nasser um, through that um, method of, of relying, trusting in God through in the power of prayer. You know, he did his part. Obviously, he, he had he had strong relations with the government. He, he had strong relations with the president. He had strong relations with the um, with the uh, the chief, um, you know, Muslim sheikh, like from the Al Azhar, um, and they often exchanged visits, and they they often tried to do joint, um, you know, statements or or, um, you know, addressing some of the the social ills of the country together in a sort of unified way. So he wasn't, you know, completely, you know, aloof from, right. you know, what was taking place at the level of the society or the nation, but. But he definitely, you know, trusted more in the power of prayers than in, you know, in, in speaking or in, um, you know, sort of maneuvering in a political way or um, strategizing in that sense. So he was definitely unique. Uh, but maybe in, maybe in terms of the metrics, you know, people look at now, which is like, how many, how many, how many churches were built? How many uh, new monks were ordained? How many... Um, you know, youth centers were developed, yada, yada. Do you think he, he was like uh, cognizant and was like, and I know this isn't the subject of your book, mm. um, but, but just, uh, you know, if you can comment on it, uh, was this something he, you know, he was like actively, you know, where, where we kind of expect that from the patriarchs now and, and the bishops that these are their priorities. They're, they're, they're working on these tangible things. Is that, is that something he, do you, you think he was like, you know, I focused think, on. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure m many others can speak much better on this point, but I think his focus was 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 more um, on the spiritual lives of his people. Um, you know, and I think he came into uh, a church that was sort of badly beaten up through the centuries of sort of um, you know. Uh, scandals and uh, a, a sort of you know coldness to the liturgical life of the, of the church you know most churches were not praying vespers you know midnight praises were not being prayed um, it was very uncommon for a bishop to pray liturgy except on sunday or friday you know this whole idea of like daily liturgies was something kind of unheard of maybe outside of the monasteries mm -hmm. so i think his his priority again was was more you know, to 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 create a revolution, a spiritual revolution in the hearts of the people, by being a shepherd to them. You know, by by again by having that contact with them, um, that you know really changed people's hearts and and drew people back into the life of the church. 
I think that was more important to him than sort of the the structures and the statistics and um, committees and things like that. I mean, he mm-hmm. was he was more narrowly, I think, focused on you know sort of you know recapturing the place of Christ in the hearts of his people. Yeah, and well, he and he was a delegator, right? Isn't isn't this part of the reason he he formed essentially the general bishop uh, offices without jurisdiction for different you know functions education for example you think i mean you think that was part of the reason that he he didn't want to uh, kind of focus on those types of things and and instead yeah. delegate it because that, that, was, was, that was that was a pretty big reform mm, wasn't it like sure sure i mean you know not just delegating um you know sort of episcopal tasks but you know, even, you know, thinking about, um, you know, preaching the, the, the homily at the, at the divine liturgy, you know, we have, we have no recorded homilies of the patriarch. Uh, he didn't preach mm-hmm. not because he couldn't, uh, he was very well educated in, in, in the patristics and the ascetical tradition of the church and the scriptures as attested to by some of his early writings as a monk um, and and just through the spiritual guidance that he gave people uh, more one-on-one but but he delegated you know and, and there are stories of 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 him you know weeping as uh as he's attending the homily of a simple priest who's preaching in the presence of the patriarch mm. you know and he just put himself as one of the people listening to the homily and was was moved by the words of the priest and you know, oftentimes would be found weeping. Um, so, you know, it's it's a it's something that we can't even imagine today. You know, right, uh, right, since the, right. the times of Pope Shenouda the Third and and since then, 